the photo resist has been removed and is now washed with water. So we're now going to pour ferric chloride, which is hazardous to the environment. So what do you think she needs to do before she put that in the solution? I wonder. Well, I would definitely dry it first because the water contents in there will weaken the solutions in the ferric chloride. And the fact that she's wearing gloves is wonderful, but there's a tongue there, so she could grab that to the sponge and then the solution wouldn't even get to her gloves then. So she's more protected that way. So is the windows open? Nope. That means she could be breathing in stuff. Well, okay, we have a camera to film her if she collapses. And then we can show you what we do when someone has an injury. We can perform first a. Ooh. Is it happening? Now, you know it's happening when this substrate starts to turn pink. That means you are actually seeing the glue layer. If the, if the pink, uh, the, the pink uh, um, layer gets removed as well, what you'll see is the actual fiberglass board. And what does a fiberglass board look like? Well, time will tell. So you can see from the sodium hydroxide which removed the photoresis. Why does the photoresis get removed? Because the ultraviolet light has exposed to the photoresis and it weakens it. And that's why the sodium hydroxide reacts to the weakened um, uh, photoresis. And so, all the copper that is protected is by the photoresist. And the photoresist is still on top of the copper layer. So what you, after we've done re the removal of the copper, we do still need to remove the photoresist using something called acetone. It's a very, very acidic substance. Look at the solution. So I wouldn't recommend anyone to use this solution for their work because it's contaminated. So please do not pour that into the sink. Some people might argue, well, it's only 40% of ferric chloride, but yes, you can, al you can always dilute it with, so uh, uh, with soap, which turns it neutralized. Unfortunately, yes, you neutralize the content, but there's copper now in the solution, remember. So it's contaminated, bad for the environment. So we need to dispose of it properly. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to pour it into an empty glass container and then we're going to take that to the chemistry lab where they will have special disposable method. Now, for someone who has never done this before and is the first attempt, this is pretty good, huh? Don't you think? For professional people like myself, we could le literally do that in a few minutes' time. But, you know, you could be doing it, you've got to do it the way you like it. Look at that, okay? Now, you can see there's still a lot of pink because that's the glue layer. So the fiberglass board hasn't been exposed yet. So let me go and find you what a fiberglass board looks like once the copper has been removed. So follow me. Nope, that's not the one. So let me take you around the CNC machine there. Ah, there it is. So you can see that's the fiberglass board. It's greenish color. Okay. So we need to achieve that to fully expose it. So the danger of this is is that you might etch 
well, you might have put this into the um, light box for too long, which means if we do use ferric chloride for too long, we might over etch. Okay, this is something we have to be careful, especially if you have very thin uh, width of the copper. But you can look, look at, look at this. It's exposed. Oh, look, the middle one is really good. And even those thin wire. Look at that, that ring in there. That is just beauty. So, just a little bit more and we're done. So, we'll come back to that later. So, we'll let this lady finish off what she needs to do.